Give it up one more time, ladies and gentlemen, for Alexis the Relentless Fernandez and his opponent, Daniel Alberto Gonzalez. Let's range. Here we go, our 11th matchup of the evening. If you are just joining us here from FIU North Campus for Rendirse Rage 3. Our sanctioning body is Global Solutions, my partner in crime, Byron Sellers. And this is an MMA event between Daniel Gonzalez fighting out of the uh, red corner and uh, Alexis Fernandez, ATT Kendall, out of the blue corner. If I'm correct, Pedrino guy is a judo guy, right? From Cuba? He is a judoka. All right, I think I remember this kid. But I remember the other one for sure, Blue Corner. Now Alexis Fernandez fought for us a couple of times on the tournament. All right, that's why I recognize him. Ah, I hear the corner calling his game over here. He said all he wants to do is wrestle. <laughs> Waiting for Pedrino's guy to really engage. He's kind of, there he goes. Feeling it out, but he's getting hit. Well, that's the thing about wrestling in the MMA and jiu-jitsu in the MMA. It's a very different story when you're getting punched right in the face. <laughs> Let's see here. Take down. And a nice little scramble here between Alexis Fernandez and El Daniel Pedro. Gonzalez. What's carved in his head? El Pedro, the dog. We're trying to stay awake. Long night for us. 13 fights on the card. Two ambulance rides later. Well, this is what shows two fighters showing their composure. Usually when you're out here and you're in an event and you have the crowd screaming and everybody wants action, a lot of times fighters make the mistake of pressing the action to please the crowd and make mistakes. Get caught, get caught. These guys are being patient, picking and choosing their shots. Sometimes the crowd thinks it's a little boring, but trust me, when the shots land, they land. And it's, it sucks. Well, you definitely want to put on a good show for the crowd, but you want to keep yourself safe enough where you don't get out of your game, out of your rhythm. Nice side yeah. kick there. You know, the crowd, the, crowd, the crowd just wants blood and guts. You know, give them two knives and let them go. Yeah, carnage. Yeah, they're really picking shots, man. They, need to, they do need to get in it. There we go. There we go. Been a good event all night long. It's like a lot of mutual respect going on. Absolutely, these guys are swinging for the fences. Check that kick, very good inside leg kick. There we go, he's going for that takedown. Oh man, should have got those earlier when he weren't so sweaty. Please also remember he's fighting somebody out of ATT Kendall, which is very well versed, right. very good camp. With Manolo over there, round, round over. one over. Ladies and gentlemen, round two. Here we go, round number two of this action-packed fight between Daniel Gonzalez and Alexis Fernandez. Padrino's MMA camp versus ATT Kendall, this 135-pound division. You know, these guys are fighting for free, and they are throwing down. Amateur league, you cannot have not pay the fighters, unfortunately. I wish they would change that. But these guys are throwing down. Range and distance. Alexis is keeping his range back, trying to avoid the shooting to take down. And unfortunately, Daniel's not pressing the fight, trying to bring it to the ground. Exactly, good call. So I'm gonna give uh, Alexis so far around one and this much of round two. Exactly. I mean, he's the only one really throwing strikes that are connecting. I'd like to see it go to the ground just to see what these guys have in their arsenal. We got Dave Conklin refereeing again. 
Dave's kind of our one of our resident refs, him and Ray Ramos. I think Mike and uh, Global Fighting Solutions is streaming it live on Facebook as we speak. Fight here for a minute. Yeah, I think that Daniel's just not not getting in his rhythm. He can't get the takedown, and I don't know what else he has. He's definitely gotten caught with that leg kick. Yeah, several times. I just wish that Alexis would follow up punches and bunches after the leg kick. We got Pedrino sitting next to us. Daniel got in it. Nice. Very nice exchange there. And I still think that Alexis got the best of it. Yeah, but he got it, man. He got in it. The crowd is on their feet. Going nice check. Crazy. I know he felt that. Hopefully there won't be a riot. <laughs> One guy just sat the whole crowd down. That was awesome. <laughs> I tell you, if Daniel can turn it on and get that takedown, you see what his judo can do. Well, he's going to have to do something. I round, believe that he's two. down on the on the scorecards right now, even with his little flurries. But we're not judging it, so. Crowd's loving it. Fights are getting just more and more exciting. Nice counter right there yeah. by Alexis. Shen guards problem again and again and again. Right in front of us, the action right here. All right, round two's over. Great fight. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Gonzalez versus Alexis Fernandez. Here we go. Round number three, your third and final round of this 11th matchup of the evening. If you are just joining us, we have Daniel Gonzalez fighting out of Pedrino MMA versus Alexis Fernandez, ATT uh -oh. Kendall. They're mad now. We got some anger in here. And they have been swinging for the fences this entire fight. Throw down in the cage. This could turn around. Oh, finally, here we go, everybody. We finally get a takedown. Now let's see this kid's jiu-jitsu. I know Alexis has very good ground. Even though this kid's a wrestler, he better be careful with a triangle choke or an arm bar. Triangle body lock from the bottom. Well, he's keeping the top pressure pretty good. But here comes that triangle setup already. I'm telling you. I can't see the guy. ATT angle. Kendall has some very good ground. He's definitely stacking. Not trying to grab the back of the ankles too, trying yeah. to sweep him over. It's kind of weird. We're getting the, the butt shot right now, so it's kind of hard. Looks like he's climbing for an arm or a triangle or crossing the guillotine. They need to let it go now. There it is, ground and pound. Now's the time. And as he comes across the body, looks like he's going for that triangle right there. Hooks a beautiful, beautiful transition. Is Back going. to half guard. Crazy. Hope his whole crowd is standing up. And like I said, ATT Kendall, do not cut out Alexis Fernandez. These guys have some really good ground. We might get a mount here. We might get a sweep here. I don't know. Let's see. Oh man, that right to the mat that shot. If he can pass that guard, he's probably got enough time to do something, but his kid's guard's good. Pedrino screaming out some orders. Well, I'm telling you right now, I know he took the takedown. I don't see a lot of things from the grounding and pounding. I, I think the referee should stand him up if it continues like this. Absolutely, it's almost over. They've got to be down. I see the timekeeper looking. They've got to be about there. He needs to go for an actual submission attempt or something right when he hears a 10 second he's, bell. He's trying. The shin pads are very hard to get a submission down in the Amis. It's horrible. 
you guys have ever fought with shin pads on our practice and trying to do MMA. They are going at it. Going at it, 100 miles an hour. This has been an awesome fight. He stuffs the takedown on him. Another knee to the body. He needs to get his own takedown. Oh. And he takes his back. Oh! The crowd is going crazy. All I hear in my headphones. Well, I know screaming. Daniel Gonzalez is all excited about his fight, but I don't uh, think, I think he did we, enough I think to win. We got an injury. We got an injury again. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have our decision. Your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner. Give it up for Alexis Alvarez Fernandez.